in the previous uh, videos we talked about the first two phases in uh, the life of the plant growth and development first one was germination and then the second phase was reproductive phase when flowering takes place so now we are talking about the third phase in the life cycle of the plant and that is senescence and death now what exactly these two things mean senescence is a collective deteriorating process so it is an effect of all metabolic activities or all processes which are taking place and they start deteriorating so it's a collective deteriorative process and death is the final thing that is termination of functional life now this termination could be of the entire plant or it could be of a plant part so senescence is a gradual process where all activities slowly start to get slowed down and that results into senescence or aging process and final termination of all these activities results into death now the senescence when we talk of there are various types of senescence so when we talk of types let us see what happens and which part undergoes aging the first is whole plant senescence that means the entire plant undergoes aging and then finally would die this is seen in case of crop plants like wheat and rice after these grains are sown the first thing is germination then the plant shows vegetative growth then it produces flowers and the seeds or grains are formed and after that the entire plant undergoes aging where it undergoes yellowing of leaves and the stem part and then dies so this is seen in case of wheat rice that is the crop annual crop plants we can say this is one type of senescence the second type of senescence is sequential senescence sequential means it takes place in a sequence the older parts undergo senescence and they die they undergo senescence and die but when the older parts are undergoing aging and they are dying the new parts or the newer structures keep growing so new structures keep growing that means there is a sequence of the senescence taking place older plants or parts dying and the newer structures growing this is the most common type of senescence which we see in perennial uh, plants <coughs> perennial plants the older leaves they turn yellow they fall off and the newer leaves they keep growing on the same plant so here there is a sequential senescence which is taking place the third type is shoot senescence shoot senescence as the name tells us that it is only the shoot part that is the part of the plant which is above ground it undergoes senescence and dies and the underground part and that underground part could be the stem or the roots so it is only shoot which shows senescence but underground structures like underground stem or the roots they survive so it is only shoot which is going to die after aging but the underground parts they survive and the fourth type of senescence is known as synchronized senescence synchronized is when everything happens at the same time and this is seen in deciduous plants where 
all the leaves they fall off at one period so there is leaf fall in deciduous plants and this is happening because in these deciduous plants which grow in colder region to avoid damage because of snow all the leaves they fall at the same time and synchronized can also be termed as simultaneous all the leaves are going to fall off simultaneously so these are the four main types of senescence and now let us see why this senescence is taking place so there are theories which are uh, explain the reasons for the senescence or this aging process so let us take up these theories now there are various theories which give us reasons why this senescence is taking place the first is known as wear and tear theory according to this theory during the lifespan of a plant there are wear and tear taking place that means certain systems certain tissues are undergoing certain kind of wear and tear and those damages they accumulate which result into the aging process or senescence the second theory is toxicity toxicity theory now this theory says that toxic substances they accumulate in the plant body or tissues which lower the activity of the plant or plant part so accumulation of toxic substances over a period of time result into lowering of toxic substances result in lowering of the activities and when this takes place for a longer period of time this results into aging or senescence and finally death of the plant the third theory is it uh, indicates that there is some loss of metabolites so it is called loss of metabolites theory according to this theory the important metabolic substances they get uh, reduced in their concentration in the plant tissue or plant body and that results into this senescence and the fourth theory is called genetic theory now different scientists have proposed different theories but the most uh, relevant theory which uh, sounds more authentic is the genetic theory according to this theory there are certain genetic changes or variations which take place resulting into the aging process according to a scientist fletcher the rna content gets affected and how exactly he concluded that was on the basis of the enzymes he saw that the enzyme concentration in plant tissues decreases as the plant undergoes aging or as its life passes by those enzyme concentration or enzyme number molecules they decrease and these enzymes are actually the degrading enzymes that means they are the ones which degrade the toxic substances or break down uh, the uh, defective chemicals which are synthesized in the body so how is the enzyme production decreasing so his conclusion was that with aging rna synthesis gets lower and we know enzymes are proteins and for protein synthesis rnas are essential all three types messenger rna transfer rna and ribosomal rna so if rna production decreases then ultimately it is going to be the protein synthesis or enzyme synthesis will get affected so according to him it was decrease in rna production 
and that resulted into lowering of the enzyme concentration and these enzymes were specially the degrading enzymes and as we said that this theory looks more uh, authentic or explains senescence in a better manner we can relate this to the other theories if enzymes degrading enzymes are less then these metabolites they may get lost or the toxic substances which otherwise would have been degraded by these enzymes they would also tend to accumulate and because of all these things there would be wear and tear of the plant tissues so we can uh, explain the previous three theories using the fourth theory and that is why most of the scientists believe on this but separately also these theories are considered significant in the process of senescence and ultimately death so we have seen the various types of senescence also and the theories also which explain this senescence so with these three phases the plants complete their uh, uh, life cycle or we can say the growth and development of plant gets completed in these three phases first one was germination then second was reproduction and this is the third phase that is senescence and death so now the plant growth and development part uh, is complete because this is the last stage after which the plant dies